So one of our viewers requested me to talk about the passive income ideas for an HR professional. So that's what we are doing today. Also, if you guys have any specific questions related to HR or topics or your doubts and confusions, then please make sure that you put them in the comment section. I'll include the content in my future videos. So on that note, let's get started. So the basic funda to earn the income as an HR professional lies on one single thing. That is that you have that experience expertise over your skill that you are a champ being a HR professional you just know your job in and out you just know everything that goes into HR that is the first basic requirement because only then you can go ahead on the path of earning the income basis your HR profession skills your HR skills basis your HR skills so the uh, income ideas that I'm going to talk about today are not necessarily passive but they are for sure extra I mean you can do these things along with your job as well so let's start with our first point which is get associated with any HR college as a guest lecture now guys I obviously don't need to say this everybody of us are aware about it that the curriculum that we are taught in our education are far far behind than what actually the job is i mean it is true for every single field it's not that only mba in hr is like that it's true for every single education field at least in india i can say so the real value that you can bring out in the life of those uh, students who are listening to you is immense i mean you do not have to be there as a full-time employee you can just be a like an on-demand visiting faculty who teaches certain uh, topics in the subject or the entire subject who knows second on the list is which is similar to the first one which is hr talks i mean you can take a few talking events which are in hr and you can speak uh, in those events about HR though the audience can be students who are pursuing HR or the audience can be who are aspiring to be HR are not uh, yet related to the field of HR or maybe even companies who are trying to learn things about uh, HR the policies and frameworks things like that so when uh, you grow higher in your field and you have really mastered it and if you optimize your LinkedIn profile good enough then I think you are automatically approached by people for such talks so these can be a great source of income as well but as I said you have to be really good at your skill HR skill you should know end-to-end -end HR now if you want to take things little ahead and you're really serious about doing something about your HR skills then you can create your own firm or not necessarily like a big company a little firm where which provides services into HR can be a recruitment services or can be other services related to creating uh, policies from scratch for startup a lot of startups do that they hire HRs to set up the greenfield HR project that nothing is existing they deploy a HR uh, on contract or maybe a pre-agreed number of hours over weekend or whatever works for you and you can help them set the HR function up you can even deploy people and you do not have to necessarily be there to pull things up for giving those services so that again is a great great idea next on the list is freelancing work you can take freelancing projects from upwork.com or freelancer.com uh, there i think there are a lot of tasks that come on these sites related to hr as well that you have to create resume for somebody or maybe a company wants you to review their hr policy document so if you're interested in doing all of that you can definitely earn extra income there doing those freelancing projects next on the list is you can create your own course and sell it if you are somebody who has end-to-end -end expertise on hr subject you can definitely create your course and sell it because there is so much need out there people from mba college do not learn much you and i as hr professionals we know this that people do not know much what we studied i mean it was not even one percent of the actual job that we do that now when i look back the curriculum is so outdated and there's nothing practical taught there so you can definitely add so much value in the life of those students if you create your course and the final point on the list is that you can create content around your hr skills the hr subject you can start a youtube channel you can start a podcast or you can start a blog i mean it doesn't cost anything but you can share your hr skills there and and eventually as you will grow on these platforms you will start getting your passive income there also, it's important to mention here that whatever 
ideas that i've mentioned here are not the only ideas i mean there can be more ways to earn income as a hr professional but the core remains the same that you have to be good at your skills right? there is no alternate to that you'll only be able to earn and scale when you provide value to your clients clients can be companies or students or colleges whosoever it is so make sure that you think about the passive income or the extra income only when you have already mastered your skill if you are not still there you are like halfway and you you feel like you still need to work on your hr skills so before you teach it to someone else then first invest your extra time on enhancing your skill set and then move towards that path of earning the passive income or earning the extra income from this so with that guys we came to the end of this video i really hope you derived some value out of today's conversation and if you want to get answers to your hr career queries make sure you put them in the comment section down below i will include the content for sure in my future videos with that i'm signing off you keep on watching more content on the hr destination to be a successful hr professional and i'll see you in my next video till then stay safe and healthy take care bye